In our earlier videos, I did explain why Raila Odinga came out very angrily today to attack Rotom. In this video right now, I want to put some of his remarks into perspective for Kenyans to understand where the truth lies. Stop demolishing people's houses. If you want to evict them, first construct houses for them. Kenyans are not animals. Have some humanity in you. If you try to show force, we will also show our force. That was El Odinga speaking today in Mbakasi South constituency. And as he made those remarks, houses were being demolished at Mukuru Kwaruben. And this is what the locals had to say. <laughs> And then Raila also said this, they knew the rents will increase, but they did not take any action. Now they are telling Kenyans to go to higher ground and climb hills. Where are the hills? Ruto is on record telling Kenyans to move to higher grounds. Raila also said, during protests, they were saying Azimio wanted to ruin the economy. It is now one year since then. Has anything improved? They have failed. And even if they stay for 10 years, they will fail. Zakayo does not know the way. We are going to dissect all these remarks. Compare C.S. Machogu to Professor Magoa. The difference is like day and night. The people calling themselves CSS of health, education, and public service are all useless. We have a problem because the driver does not know where the steering wheel is located. Let's put those remarks into perspective. If you compare CS education, Machogu and Magoha, it's true you can't compare those two individuals. Magoha knew exactly what was to be done. Machogu is completely clueless. And this reinforces this notion that William Ruto deliberately appointed incompetent people so that he could be dictating on them on how to rule. And I'm saying that because it's now a fact that these cabinet secretaries cannot make decisions in their ministries. Decisions are coming from state house. So again here, Ruto is clearly the problem. He deliberately appointed these individuals so that he could dictate on them what to be done. In a nutshell, this is a one-man show government. And that's why as a country, we keep on making blunders after blunders. During protests, they were saying, 
as Emu wanted to rule the economy. It is now one year since then, has anything improved? They have failed, and even if they stay for 10 years, they will fail. Zakayo does not know the way. That's exactly what I've been saying here, that we are dealing with a kakistocracy. The most incompetent government being run by the most incompetent individuals in our country. And in the about two years they've been in power, it's clear they've failed. Some naive Kenyans are still saying that let's give them time to deliver. If they have not delivered in these two years, even if given 10 years or even 100 years, they will not deliver. This is a kakistocracy, a government by the most incompetent in any country. They knew the rents were coming, but they failed to take action. So if you look at the way Ruto is running Kenya, you don't need anybody to tell you that this is a trial and error government. They are not very sure on what should be done. They try this if it succeeds well, if it fails well. And it appears Kenyans are still giving this government time, thinking that it can deliver. The government will not deliver. In fact, their ability not to deliver, they are normalizing it. To a point I'm now seeing Kenya thinking that for a government to fail to deliver is something normal. Kenyans are shooting themselves on the foot. And also if you look at mythical in Turin, we know that currently parliament has passed a motion for the impeachment of mythical in Turin. The same mythical in Turi was today at State House attending some cabinet. I think it was some sort of a meeting. The same person whose ministry oversaw National and Serious Police Board selling fake fertilizers to Kenyan farmers. So you are seeing clearly that besides being incompetent, this is also a very corrupt government run by very corrupt individuals. So what Tyler is saying is actually true because again we are being told that the opposition was hindering the government from performing. Rail has been silent but still we are not seeing any progress or any development coming from this government. If today Kenyans were to call for demonstrations or for the opposition to call for demonstrations, you'll start seeing the government saying that is the opposition that is sabotaging its work. Right now there are no demonstrations and Rail has been silent, but still we are seeing nothing coming out of Kenya Kwanzaa government. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Any other person watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give the video a like. For those who may want to support our forum, contact me through that number below. That's my MPESA number. Thank you, God bless you, God bless Kenya. Lucky Kamatin. Ma pinam o se o logo pi tarik prario gaboro du marang wen du ma pil ka uono e ma gwen o se chale kama e ma cha school o se it o se tu devi pa ni te ne ti le da o ri school ni a di unbelievable onge ma e gwen kendo kama nyo o kinyali chwe iye ka wuni chwe iye. Mae kaka kanisa cha legwen manyo idwa ni wabedi wabedi ni ni kelo no akony ikelo konye pi serikal kok do akonyo wa do ngiswa ni ke chwan koro ke okwan jo kenya ke chma onge rieko ma onge rieko kabisa ma che kaka yugudore dala chiel 
Dhano madhi mia achiel. Patis matek. Mae kaka gweng' chalo.